Stanford University. We're on the slope of Kohala Volcano on the island of Hawaii. And this is an absolutely remarkable area because the rainfall falls from about 160 inches a year to about 7 inches a year in a distance of a little over 10 miles here. This land supported a Hawaiian agricultural system that was here before Europeans arrived that was incredibly intensive and productive. It supported a population on this island that was almost certainly larger than the population that lives here on the island now. When Europeans arrived, they commented on the intensity of the agriculture, the productivity, the hard labor that went into it, and the tremendous yields that came from it. But the Europeans who arrived also brought diseases with them to which the Hawaiians had no resistance. Perhaps 90% of Hawaiians were killed by introduced diseases in the decades after European arrival. Productive agricultural lands were abandoned. It required so much labor that when so many people died, the hard work was no longer necessary to feed people and they didn't have the labor to maintain those systems. The systems faded away and were lost to, to memory and practice. Uncovering past agricultural systems is really exciting. There's some portions of land that look like nothing and then there's some portions of land that just shapes and mounds that look anomalous. And you're not going to know if something's there or not unless you go and you investigate. And that's really exciting. And at the end of the day, sometimes you find something and sometimes you don't. The Ulumao Punui project focuses on the Kohala field system, which is a dry land field agriculture system that existed in ancient times in Hawaii. It's been a really valuable experience, not only being able to do research and the hard science part of it, but really learning about the culture and learning about what the land means to the people here in the process. One of the things for me that this program has really been important to me for is just that idea of getting back in touch with my culture. So I was born here in Hawaii but grew up back on the mainland and it's always been a part of me and um, part of my family knowing that I'm part native Hawaiian and that's definitely the part I identify most with. It's really exciting to work on the land, on land that people worked 400 years ago and to try to understand what they did, how they did it, how they saw the land, how they made use of the land that we can see now. What's really fun about working in this land is that there's a wide variety of people with different skills and experiences who work on the land together. Also, the community is discovering the land again. The, the gates are open, people are working on the land, and people from the community who had not known it was there, or grew up not knowing it was there, are on it and discovering how it worked. In the Waimea field system and the Kohala field system, me as a Waimea boy, I didn't even know it existed. I rode horses over it pretty much every day. I get those interns every year from Stanford University and um, sharing with them and they sh coming here, um, sharing with us with the projects they all do and it helps everybody, I think. A lot that the Hawaiians knew about agriculture that wouldn't be useful just in Hawaii, it would be useful to the world. And if we can understand how they were able to maintain and sustain the productive systems they did, it would be useful for meeting more of the food requirements of Hawaii and maybe meeting more of the food requirements for the nine billion people we're going to have to support on Earth in the next 50 or 60 years.